So I've said this before, and I'm going to say it again, and for those of you that have been around the channel, this is going to come as no surprise, but college football recruiting is absolutely one of my favorite things in the world, and this week has been a real treat getting to keep up with the recruiting headlines, and today uh, we need to talk about the Oklahoma Sooners getting a massive addition in their 2024 class for four-star quarterback out the state of Texas, Michael Hawkins. We need to break down why this is such a big win for Oklahoma and what this could mean next for the Sooners recruiting class, but before we do, as always, y'all know the drill i have got to hear from you hop down to the comments give me a y for yes or an n for no are you excited that michael hawkins commits to oklahoma and let me know what you're thinking if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe hit that bell notification i do constant college football content you don't want to miss any of it and we're on a push to 20,000 subscribers i'd love to have you a part of this unbelievable community but having said all that let's jump right into this and first and foremost before we can talk about what this means for oklahoma's recruiting class going forward we have got to ask and answer the question who is Michael Hawkins? Well, Michael Hawkins is one of the more coveted prospects in the class of 2024, a class loaded with talented prospects. If we look at the 24-7 sports composite, he comes in as the number 311 player in the nation, a top 20 quarterback, and a top player in the state of Texas, a state so loaded with talent on a year-in, year-out basis that it makes complete sense when every major institution tries to set up a base camp there. Now, furthermore, Michael Hawkins plays his high school football in a competitive league in the state of Texas. And we talk all the time about the quality of high school football in the state of Texas and how seriously that state takes their high school football. And if you are Oklahoma, being able to get a guy that plays in a serious high school league, though it doesn't guarantee a smooth transition, you certainly like the odds. And we talk about this all the time. We talk about it when players come from IMG, from modern day. There are certain leagues, certain high schools across the nation that you know the quality of guys they're practicing against on a day-in, day-out basis, and then the competition they face on a weekly basis a lot of those guys they're playing will end up playing college football as well. So you like your chances. So outside of this, what does this mean for Oklahoma? And why am I not surprised that he is committed to the Oklahoma Sooners? And I'd like to address the second point first, because I have two primary reasons why I'm not surprised in the least Michael Hawkins has committed to Oklahoma. But before we jump into why I'm not surprised, a quick word from today's video sponsor. Did you know that in 2022, the United States had its second worst year ever in terms of data compromises? And not only was it the second worst year in terms of data compromises, but there was a substantial amount of capital loss coming in at $10.2 billion in 2022 alone, which is exactly why I'm so excited to talk with you all about today's sponsor. Aura. Anybody can find anything online, including your name, address, phone number, or even your relative's information. And all of this is possible because data brokers selling your information to scammers, telemarketers, robocallers, or anybody that wants to learn more about you. But this is exactly where Aura comes in. Aura will help you identify these data brokers and submit opt-out requests on your behalf, and they will even opt you out of junk mail and telemarketing lists. If you use the link shown on screen and found in the description, Aura will hook it up with two free weeks so that you can see just how many people are after your data. Plus, Aura monitors your emails and passwords to see if they were involved in a data break and exposed on the dark web and will give you recommendations on what to do. Aura has a VPN, a password manager, real-time credit and identity theft monitoring, internet parental controls, and protects your devices from malware. It truly is the one-stop shop for user protections. Plus, they offer different bundles so that you can either take care of yourself or the whole family at an awesome rate. So let Aura keep you safe. Go to the link in my description to claim your two free week trial and start protecting yourself online. Once again, go to Aura.com slash ATTS to start protecting yourself online with a two week free trial link in the description. Thank you so much to Aura and back to the video. In the first, he's a legacy. Now that doesn't guarantee that you will get the son if you had the father play football for you, but I do think it increases your chances. It only increases the familiarity that that individual could have with your institution. And in the case of Michael Hawkins, I think it paid off and it gets me into reason number two. He had supreme familiarity with the Sooners. And in fact, the weekend before he was supposed to commit. So last weekend he was touring Oklahoma. He was in Norman. And I thought then that's, that's a compelling factor. That's got to be something, right? That's got to be an indication. And especially when a day or two later, crystal ball predictions start being inserted for TCU for another quarterback, and this seems to be a two-team race between Oklahoma and TCU for Michael Hawkins. Reading the tea leaves, it seemed fairly obvious that Hawkins would be a Sooner. But finally, 
what does this mean for Oklahoma's recruiting class going forward? Well, aside from the obvious, you now have a quarterback in the class of 2024. And I'm actually a fan of how Brent Venables is handling his quarterback recruiting where they're taking a quarterback every single year. I've actually been a proponent of taking a quarterback every single year because I think not only does it help your recruiting class, it helps your team stay in a better position. And I understand the counter argument is, well, with the existence of the transfer portal, if you take a quarterback every year, you're more likely to see an exodus from that room. My counterpoint would be with the existence of the transfer portal, if someone loses that starting job, they're probably just as inclined to transfer, so you might as well make sure you have quality depth all the way through, right? With the existence of the transfer portal, now transferring is an inevitability. It will touch every team in the nation. Some teams will be more affected by it than others, naturally, but because of its existence, you need to really make sure you're having that quality depth, and I like that they're taking a quarterback every single class, or at least so far they have. I think that's awesome to see. Secondly, I think this could get the ball rolling for Oklahoma, and we talk about this all the time when we talk about blue-chip quarterbacks committing in a class, and it doesn't have to be a quarterback. We've seen guys outside the quarterback position really take the reins and start recruiting and galvanizing classes before, but I just think it hits a little bit different when it comes from a quarterback, and specifically when we look at Michael Hawkins, there's a five-star in the class of 2025 that he has a great connection with. If I'm not mistaken, this five-star's father was at Oklahoma's campus with the Hawkins this past weekend. And that's five-star tight end in the class of 2025, Devon Mitchell. Now, I'm not saying it's a done deal that Oklahoma lands Mitchell, but they were already in a really good spot for the very gifted tight end. And he's got a great relationship with Michael Hawkins per all reports. Now you have both those factors going for the Oklahoma Sooners. It puts them in an undeniably good position for the very coveted tight end. What ends up happening, I'm intrigued to see. But one thing we do know is that Oklahoma is posturing themselves in really good position in several battles because of how well they're able to build and maintain relationships. Now that you have your quarterback, I'm curious to see when the avalanche occurs because it feels like there's a lot of pressure around Oklahoma right now. And I don't mean pressure in a bad way. I mean pressure as it feels like it's about to pop and they're about to get an avalanche of commitments. But I can't wait to hear from all of you. Hop down to the comments. Let me know what you're thinking. That's it. See ya.